Hey there folks and welcome back for another shaving video. I'm your host Chris for CDB and today we have another good one for you. Today we're going to use Katie's Bubbles and this one is Tonsorium. And uh, this one for me is a, by the way, scent strength, I'd call it right down the middle, about five out of the tub. And for me, this is sort of a, a barbershop scent with a little bit of floral and citrus to it. It is not your conventional cad or anything like that. Now he describes it on the top as a familiar fougere topped with citrus. And I think that's probably a, a, a good description as well. But for me, it's kind of barber shoppy with a little bit of floral and a little bit of citrus. It's a really nice scent and I like it. And of course I like uh, Katie's bubble soaps, generally speaking. I'm gonna be using the Carve Christopher Bailey razor, Christopher Bradley, of course. Um, Brass, which I like, and uh, inside we're going to put today a Supermax Platinum. I've been using the Parmesharp, had some great shaves with that, and today we're going to go with uh, Supermax and see how that goes. These blades are made in India, I do believe, or at least that's what it says on the back. Look like they're double wrapped. And there we have our Supermax Platinum. One of the things I like about the carve are these excellent posts. You pop your blade in, and there's a little bit of overhang. The cutout at the top I like, and I say this every time I use the uh, carve, the plate is E. And uh, one of the things I like about the carve is price, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Anyway, brass version, there's your blade, super max. And let's not knock our camera <laughs> all over the place before we get started. The brush today is the uh, PAA Atomic Rocket, which is, uh, I believe, 26 millimeter. And it was, uh, what did it cost? Like $14.95 or $15.95? I'll have a link below if you're interested. I really like this brush uh, when I used it last week. And so we expect to like it today. Um, and we put our sample there or, or our soap in the Katie's Bubbles. I was loading from the, the uh, puck, but really I don't like to. As you know, that's just me. If you do it, you know, it's fine. And, and honestly, I've been saying a lot at the end of my videos. It's kind of what I say every time. It's your shave, do it your way. And I mean it. Um, I will give you the counsel that I think is wise based on my experience. But you should then take that information and aggregate it with other information and people that you respect, you know, in the community, written, uh, reviewers, uh, other people on the Facebook groups, other YouTubers, and then make your own decisions. But for me, most of the things that I do are then in the interest of either saving money or prolonging the use of your products, because that's what's important to me. I want my soaps to last a long time, and most of them do when I don't introduce a lot of soap inside the tub. And so I've, I've also ruined soaps by introducing water inside the tub. And so I've seen it, and so I know what can happen. Uh, but always, as always, it's up to you to you know handle your soaps however you want. If money is no object and you're not gonna keep a soap a long time and you're gonna use the whole tub straight through, don't worry about it. You can do whatever you want, really. But if you wanna hang them, if, if you want them hanging around a while, and this one has been around, been around for a while for me, I don't really recommend introducing a lot of water inside that tub. And if you do introduce water, make sure you completely dry it out. And now that feels very, very nice and smooth. The carve. Really liking this razor. And as I mentioned to you at the beginning of this video, one of the things really great about this carved brass, it is 70, about 70 bucks US dollars. And that is a really good price. I mean, that is getting to Razor Rock prices who have really strong prices on stainless steel and, and other type metals. Now, I don't know what the uh, stainless steel version of this razor costs. I suspect it's competitive also. Um, but the brass, which I really like, very well priced at 70 bucks uh, US and their plates are very well priced at about $21. I think that's excellent. And for a razor of this quality, I love it. 
I love that price. I mean, to me, bringing that sort of value and getting people who may not be able to afford $185, which sort of used to be before, um, well, we had Weber. Weber had stainless steel razors at $75, but when they went away, Really, the only folks producing affordable stainless offering was um, Italian Barber Razor Rock. And so now you have some other people who are in the fray like Carve, this uh, razor here. And I really like that because I my goal and my overarching uh, reason for having this channel, in addition to the therapeutic nature of shaving and talking, is to spread the word. And whenever we can get people in the door into this hobby and have a really fine crafted piece like this for under a hundred bucks, that is a big time winner. And really that's what it's all about. And I don't think a lot of people sometimes think about it, that the continued growth of this hobby that allows vendors to continue to create and produce things, we're, well, let me put, this, the continued growth allows it to happen. If that growth stagnates, you won't see products like this coming out often. They won't be able to afford to. So it's very important that we continually bring in new folks. So my goal here at the channel is to tell you what I know based on my experience and share it with you and share it with everyone because plenty of new people happen along and see these videos. And they're like, oh, I saw your video. That's how I got started. And I love that. I'm like, mission uh, complete, you know. I just hope they stay. You know, stick around not only to my channel, but to the hobby and and uh, participate in it. And make sure that, you know, more people involved means better products, better, so better selection, more artisans. And we have plenty. I get that. Some people say too many. I am not one of those people because I think choice is a beautiful thing. And it allows people, it's not only people who can afford a titanium razor that are important. Those people who can plunk down $400 for a razor and would do it regularly are few and far between. But the ones who spend 70, there's probably a lot more of those, right? So we want people, we, we also want the luxury top end people, luxury top end people to be happy. But there are not as many of those as there are the middle grounders and the budget types, I think. And it's not the, you know, it's gonna be new blood that keeps this thing going. So that's why it's important to me that we have offerings that are well-priced. Now, let's talk a little bit about the soap and let's show you the ingredients right there. There's your ingredients for the tonsorium. Again, this is a, I don't know if it's full on vegan, but it's certainly vegetable based. It is a fine soap. The cost on this, by the way, is, uh, what does it say? 14 bucks. It is 14 bucks for four ounces or uh, 350 per ounce. Fair price on the cost sheet right there. And by the way, I want to mention a special individual, John Rodeo, who has basically made all my images over the years just because he's a hobbyist too. And that's the way he contributes. And so thank you very much, John. I really appreciate it. He's helping me with a number of things and has helped me over the years many, many times. And so we really appreciate John. He helped me with the Shaving Evangelist, you know, with Eye Lather and also with IMCDB uh, images and so on. Uh, and so big thanks to John. Uh, and that is a big contribution in my view. Uh, so please uh, give John some love below if you don't care. Boy, wow. This blade is quite smooth in the carve, I must say. Um, very nice. And I must say, I think I really like this E-plate. I don't know that I really need to go up to the F. Um, this E is feeling pretty good to me. I think I could easily manage with the F, but I think the E is doing, you know, what it's supposed to do. I'm going to order a uh, an open comb plate to try it out as well. Right, feeling really, really good. By the way, Katie's Bubbles, one of the reasons I, I just I picked it up to use it today was, and Chris Cullen, uh, who I've know, you know, have known for a long time, and I have broken bread with him and met him in person a couple of times. 
Great guy. He lost somebody recently um, who was important to him. I'm not giving all the details because he's a somewhat private person. And I don't want to give details that maybe, you know, if he didn't want it out, I don't want to give all this out. But he did lose someone close to him recently. And my understanding was it was sort of related to all this mess that's going on, but not necessarily strictly due to that. And I just want to say, Chris, um, thank you for all your uh, soaps and all the products over the years. And we wish you and your family all the best. And I'm sorry for your loss. Um, and so please, folks, do not bother Chris, but... If you could also show him some love in the comments, I, I would appreciate that. He's a guy that I like. And uh, I've used his soaps for, for a long time and I love them. And I like him too, he's a good guy. He and his wife, he's got some kids, family guy, nice guy. Somewhat stubborn, I find. <laughs> Cause he and I have, uh, we just debate, you know, certain things about the soaps. I'm like, well, I think it should be this way. Of course, he's the soap maker, so he, who wins? You know, he wins. Um, but he's a nice guy. He has contributed a lot over the years, many, many charity things when people have needed help. He's been there for them. And so I wanna thank him for his contributions, not only the products, but just the things that he's done, events he's shown up for. And he does it quietly. He's a little bit different. I think, honestly, when I say he's stubborn, one of the things that I've always told him is, man, if, is it, if you marketed more, I mean, these soaps would be selling like crazy, and he just refuses to do it. <laughs> he's just not a lot of, he's not one of those people that's pushy about putting things in front of your face, and, and, and I'm not saying there's anything at all wrong with people who market um, aggressively, because I have recommended to Chris that, hey, I didn't even know about this soap, man. You got to mark it. And, and uh, he's like, you know, I just kind of lay it out there and let people come and get it. And he's just not one to, to be aggressive about getting word out. And so that's what I mean by stubborn. Not that he refuses to listen to counsel, but he just has to do things his own way. And he's been successful doing it. So what the heck do I know, really, when it comes down to it? I'm not a... I don't make things like that and sell them. And uh, so I, I got to say that uh, he's done a great job and I really appreciate his efforts. So thank you again, Chris. I don't mention Chris enough. He's been one of those people that uh, has supported my channel over the years. He doesn't agree with everything I have to say, obviously. And I'm sure I've gotten on his nerves like I get on everybody's nerves occasionally, even myself, I get on my own nerves, but uh, he's done a good job. Another thing I want to mention today, I have heard that Mark from Friendship Shaving has actually contracted the COVID-19 virus and is fighting his way through it. Please, uh, if you're so inclined, say a prayer for Mark. And I encourage you all, I'm gonna link his channel below, and I've done it before. Go watch his, the last video he did about menthol. He gives one of the better breakdowns of menthol that you've ever seen. He really explains it up and down. Not only does it, you know, fool you essentially into thinking that your face is cold, but it has other properties as well. I don't wanna spoil it. I want you to go watch the menthol, the, the video where he talks about menthol, and tell him I sent you, please because I really enjoyed that video when I watched it. And Mark um, has a very disarming style of video making. He's very thoughtful, deliberate. And from what I know of him, a nice gent. I don't know him personally, but um, seems like a nice guy. So go check it out. Friendship Shaving, Mark. And in particular, that, that video about menthol, is, it's terrific. I learned some things in that video, and that's why I watch videos. Is I'm still learning things, you know, from from people, and I learn things from people who have not done it nearly as long as I have. A lot of times, different perspectives, different points of view, people 
really dig in and do research and they learn things that that I didn't know or I learn things from them that I didn't know and that's terrific for me because I'm an information junkie I like to learn and so when I watch a video like Mark and I picked up a few things I knew a lot of it I would say 75% of it but there was a few things I learned so thank you Mark I really appreciate that I got to get a head shave in here as you can see the head is <laughs> the head is uh healing up and as you can see also most of the hair see why I shave the head it all grows here just a little bit on top <laughs> uh oh by the way I'm thinking next Saturday next Saturday I believe it's like the 11th or 12th 5 p.m I'm thinking of doing a YouTube live sort of Q&A just shooting the breeze with you folks and so uh, I will publicize that in advance so you all can can be there this time I hope and we'll have a good time. Maybe we'll have a beverage. And we'll just sit and, and chat and I'll answer your questions and we'll have a good time together. I enjoyed um, my last short YouTube live as well as the uh, the Instagram live with the Zingari man. I enjoyed both of us, had a great time. Okay, finished with the shave here. Let me uh, rinse the face and we shall come back with the post. Stay, stay tuned, hang in there. And here we are back with our Lancaster Razor Works towel. And I just sort of, Blot the face, and it just sucks up that moisture. You don't have to do any rubbing. You can just sort of pat, and it dries it perfectly, which is great. Or like, let's say you got a sunburn or your face is sensitive. This is an awesome towel, recommended first by um, Blackbeard uh, DK. I think Jack from the Virtual Groom Room has one as well. I love this thing. Um, again, I'm sure that the, the gent who makes them will, you know, will make them more soon, but they're not in stock right now to my knowledge. All right, here we go with our uh, Humphreys. This one is uh, Cucumber Melon. Again, every time I use this, I say I don't like it as much as Thayer's. Um, but it has not hurt anything. It, I don't think it's made anything better nor worse. I don't like the scent as much. It's got a little medicinal sort of scent to it, which I'm not crazy about. Let's talk a little bit about the soap. Katie's Bubbles Tonsorium, terrific, slightly floral, slightly citrus, a little barbershoppy is the way I would describe it. Good price, good gent, so show Chris some love below if you would please. Um, carve, Christopher Bailey Razor, Christopher Bradley, but we're calling it Christopher Bailey. Great ride today with the Supermax blade. That was super smooth, nice and efficient E-plate. I love this handle. The knurling on this is terrific. Um, it is sort of like the uh, Envoy Razor from Razor Inform Rex. Uh, also, Above the Tie Atlas has a terrific knurling. This one is probably in the top three. Like those three are my favorite in terms of knurling. And this three inch handle, it's magnificent. Love this razor. And I don't give a hoot about these caps. Some people whine about it. I like that. That's just my feeling on it. The Rocket from PAA is really a terrific synthetic brush for the price. I love I love it. It's great. And we'll finish things off today with a little Katie's Bubbles aftershave just to get things going here. We'll pour out a few drops. The inspector, once again, keeps saying, you're not using enough aftershave. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, yeah, that smells good. Um, I don't know what's in this one. Let's see. We have... Uh, Alcohol. It's a good time to be using alcohol. <laughs> uh, lavender, white willow, bark extract, chamomile. Some good stuff in here. So sometimes even if you don't use a great soap, which I think these soaps are great, but let's say you're using one that doesn't have a lot of skin food, keep in mind that your pro post products can have it and give you that post that you really want. I want to thank everybody for watching uh, and joining me today. I thank you for your continued support. Uh, it truly means the world to me. Again, please please show John some love, uh, John Rodeo. Please show Chris some love, and please go over to Friendship Shaving and check out that menthol video. You're gonna love the information he has to pass on, and let's wish Mark uh, Friendship Shaving well. Wishing you speedy recovery, Mark. God bless. Thanks, everybody, for joining me, and remember, until next time, it's your shave, do it your way, and, of course, God bless.